providing exceptional customer service is essential to growing and scaling your business. Let's discover Chatwood, a free open source alternative to Intercom, Zendesk and Crisp. It is the ultimate solution for customer relations, including website live chat, omni-channel inbox, automation, campaigns and help center. Before diving into the platform overview and discovering its features, let's see the options we have to start using it. You can use the official cloud version with a free tier up to two agents and a few features. To stay in the free zone without feature limitations, you can deploy it following the self-hosted installation guide in the documentation. Or use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy the self-hosted version on the cloud provider of your choice while we take care of the installation, backups, updates and and maintenance for you. To install Chatwood with our platform, head to ls.io and click on login. Then deploy my first service, search for Chatwood and select. Choose between the different cloud providers, region and service plans based on your need. Then next, adjust your configuration, choose your level of support. I will keep the free included one and once you are ready, click on create service. Once the installation is finished, you receive an email telling you that your instance is ready. Follow the click here to get the password link. Click on this icon button to copy the password to your clipboard and follow the admin UI link. Enter your email address, paste the password and click on login. You arrive on your freshly installed Chatwood instance. On the right, because it is the first time that you came and you didn't do anything yet, you have a nice onboarding. All your conversations in one place to create your inbox, we will start with it. Invite your team members, create canned responses and organize conversations with labels. We will see all of that in the platform overview and a bit more. Let's start by creating our inbox. Inboxes, it is where you create your channels to communicate with your users, your customers. With Chatwood, you can embed it on your website, add different social networks like Messenger, WhatsApp, Line, Telegram. You can also integrate it with SMS, email, and also have API access, which ultimately give you the ability to connect it with anything that is not present in that list. For this demonstration, we will be using a website channel. Let's name our website demo center website domain. I have this domain mobme.org that I use for different platform overviews. The widget color, it is what will be displayed in the chat bubble. Let's use uh, orange like Elestio color. And then welcome heading. How can I help you? We are here to help you. Enable channel grading. This is what your users will receive if you enable it after they type their first message. Let's say we will quickly reply to you. And OK, let's create our inbox. Now we need to attach agents to our inbox. So agents, they are the users from your Chatwood platform that are able to communicate with your users and customers. Currently, there is only me. I will select myself and add agent. Perfect. Our inbox is ready. We have the code to embed it into our website. I will copy it and then go to more settings so we have more options to customize the experience. On my CMS or on the code of my website, I need to insert the script. So insert HTML before end of body. I paste my script, then save. Now, if I open my website, on the bottom right, you can see we have that bubble icon, which is for Chatwood. We can see how can I help you? We are here to help you. And then you can see we are online, typically replies in a few minutes. And you have the W of my name. Currently, we appear as available because I am on the interface, but I can go to profile settings, set myself as offline and automatically it says that we are away. Let's put myself back online and customize a bit more so we can add a channel avatar. Let's add one. I'm adding Elestio logo. Then those are the settings we set together. There are some additional options and then we can switch for the sender name. Oh, by the way, my cam was hiding. So it is here that I can switch between online or offline. So for the sender name, we can choose between friendly or professional. So if I configure the business name, I said Elestio. You can either have my name from Elestio or professional, only Elestio. Let's keep the friendly one, but let's add 
the name update and as an agent we didn't customize yet our profile so go to profile settings here you can upload your profile picture then you can also choose a display name let's enter John Doe update profile you can also have a personal message signature but let's keep it simple now if we open back the chat we can see we are online and we have my profile picture appearing which I'm sure leads to better conversion because people are more willing to speak to a human rather than a letter then start conversation and let's just say hello the first message is what we defined at the beginning we will quickly reply to you and then give the team a way to reach you get notified by email now in the top left if we are in the conversations we can see we have new open conversation it generated a random name because we don't have information about that user yet let's open it and you have the chat appearing we can type hello how can i help you today and now in addition to the bot we have the message that our agent sent in addition to the chat here we can do a lot of things to communicate with our users first we can add private note to share information with our team without our user knowing that we are saying it for example this user is having issue with xyz whatever it is please help him add note and the other team members will be able to see this message and it can help give them guidance. It can also serve as a chat if you need to talk with your teammate to know what to answer. In the reply section, you can use emojis, attach files, also record audio and use AI assist. It needs an OpenAI API key, SK and your API key. Let's say I'm looking for the documentation so we sent another message as a user and instead of replying ourselves, we can just open AI assist, reply suggestion. Sir, I can assist you with that. Could you please specify which documentation you are searching for? Let's say, okay. And based on the context, it made this answer. Then on the right sidebar, you have the contact information. So currently it's named blue tree and we don't have any data. You can edit the contact manually, attach a picture, a name, address, some more information. Let's close it. And at the beginning, our bot was asking for the email. If you type anything, enter, automatically it will fill that section, generating the name based on the email, which is the first step. But if you have a platform and you have your user data on your front end, you can pass the data using Chatwood SDK. So currently we already have it available because we are displaying Chatwood on our front end. Let's find the section to add the details to our user. Set the user in the widget. So this is, this is that method. Let's quickly do it in the console instead of coding it. So unique identifier, this is your user ID. Let's type 42, email, we can type the same. The name, this time we'll change it, John Do. The URL, we will keep it empty and enter a fake phone number. Let's hit enter. And now in Chatwood, our user details have been updated. You have John Do the name, the unique ID identifier, which make it easy to link an issue your user is having inside the support center and to give it to the technical team if they need to do something. Then on a user, you can write new message, edit it and merge the contact. If it came with different email address with a mistake or something, you can merge to have the same conversation linked to that user. If you expand here, you have conversation actions. You can assign to an agent. Currently there is only me or you can assign it to no one. Assign it to a team, but we didn't create a team yet. But you could have, for example, the support team, the marketing team or the sales team and assign it accordingly based on the request of the user. And most important is to assign the priority based on the message. You can say this is urgent, high, low, whatever, based on the request. And once you have set the priority for the different messages in this list, when you have a lot of message, you can sort the conversation based on different criteria. So order by, and you can choose by the priority and put the highest first. To get a better understanding about the conversation, you can add labels. Let's add one label, let's name it question. Let's create it. 
we have this creator here with the label name, description, we can change the color. We can decide to show it on the sidebar and let's create it. We can create another label, technical question. Let's create it, create, and now we have two labels. Let's add technical question. And now it's attached to this conversation. And on the left, you are able to filter based on labels. Then a very useful feature is the macros. Currently we don't have, so let's add a new macro. It leads us to the settings, macros, and let's create a new one. You will understand what it is. If there are steps that you can easily reproduce, instead of doing them one by one, you can create a macro and run it and it will perform a lot of action for you. Let's say we have a simple question. What we will do is we could assign to the team, but we don't have team yet. Let's say we add a label. If it's simple question, the tag will be question. Then what else can we do? We can say, okay, this is an easy question. So send a message and say, please check the documentation at URL. Well, you will type the real URL. And then another action, because it was a simple question, we can just say, okay, resolve the conversation. You can have the macro public, so every member, every agent will be able to see it or keep it private only for you. Let's save it and let's go back to our conversation. Let's go here, macro, and we have simple question. We can see the preview of what it does, but we know what it is, so let's execute it. And automatically, it added the question label, it sent the message, and it was marked as resolved. Let's dive into the other features. You have the contacts tab, which is the list of all contacts that interacted with your platform, or this can be some that you imported directly into your chat with instance. You can filter them by tag that you applied to your conversations. Then a very nice feature is the reports to see what is going on with your support. It gives you details to know both your team efficiency, but also with the conversation traffic when you need to allocate more or less agents. You have different categories for the reporting, for example, conversations to analyze how good you are to respond to your users. You can also have the same reporting, but based on agents. So you can check if it's a bad or a smooth operator. You can also create campaigns. You have ongoing campaigns that are running every time or one off that will happen at a specific time. Let's create an ongoing campaign. Let's name it promo code. We'll type get 30% off with the promo code Johnny30. Don't hesitate if you have any questions. We'll assign it to the demo center inbox, which is our website. We can choose if it's sent by the bot or one of our agent. Let's pick myself. And the URL, this is the page where the campaign will be triggered. My website is the landing page, so we just paste the URL. And the time on page before it appears. So by default, it's 10 seconds. It's good. You can enable it or not and trigger only if it is during business hours. But let's keep it. We didn't configure our business hours yet. So let's create. Let's open our website. We have the chat bubble on the bottom right. We wait a few seconds. And now we have the campaign that has been triggered. Get 30% off. We can click on it. We have the message and then we can chat with them. This is a great way to engage with your users and to boost your conversions on a landing page. Before I forget, I also received this email notification to tell me that I have this conversation here. Let's discover another incredibly useful feature, the help center. This is a place where you can create answers to questions your user frequently have or even create a full documentation or support center. Let's create a portal. The logo will reuse our logo. Let's name it support center. Custom domain, we don't want one. We can keep the one that we have for our instance and let's create with basic settings. Then we can choose the color. Let's pick an orange. Page title, support center. We are here to help you. And homepage link, this is the link to your website that it will redirect them to. So for me, again, it will be mobme.org. Let's update the settings. And we are set up. We can go to all portals page. 
The first thing we will do before creating articles is to create categories. We have the plus button. Let's create a category name installation. We can choose an icon. Let's type tool and take this one. Can add description, but let's keep it. And now we have our installation category. Inside we can create a new article. How to deploy a chat wood instance. Then you have a what you see, what you get editor where you can type anything. Go to LSTO chat wood and click on deploy. The category is installation. You can add the meta description for a good SEO and let's publish it. Now we created this article, we can open our help center. This is a simple article, but if you add more text and images, it could be a good documentation. Then you have the installation category. You can find my article and the home where you can see all the different categories and the search bar. And on the top right, the website link, it redirects you to your website. Before finishing this platform overview, let's dive into the settings. This is where you can add different agents, invite your team members, create the different teams such as marketing support or sales team. There is also this incredible feature, which is automation. Basically what it is, is the same that the macros we created, but instead of being triggered manually by a user, it is when it detects some conditions, it will perform some actions. Another very useful feature is the canned response. So what it is, is you create shortcut, let's say doc, and when you will type slash doc, it will type a fully complete message. For example, please check our documentation at XXX, so the URL. If we go to a conversation, let's open it, slash doc, you have the prompt here, and automatically it adds the whole message and you can send it, building up the process of your agents. As always, before trying a new software, please read the documentation. You can discover features that I didn't talk about and that could benefit your business. And good thing about this documentation is, as you can see, it's been generated using the Chatwood Help Center feature. You can see the same design. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering Chatwood with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, I recommend you watch this video available here.